uh, heterogeneous catalysts are those that are in different phase than reactants. So if your reactants are in gaseous phase and your catalyst is solid, that's an example of heterogeneous. Now for this example, I chose what you have seen before. Ethane, which is unsaturated double bond, becomes ethane uh, via addition reaction of hydrogen hydrogenation over surface of nickel. So uh, this is a picture to make it easier. These are atoms of nickel uh, next to each other. And it's a surface phenomenon known as adsorption, not absorption. It's rather sticking to the surface. And uh, some of these atoms are active, some are non. So in the red, I'm, I'm showing you the active site. That's where usually the reaction takes place. Now these active sites have affinity for hydrogen. So hydrogen comes there and its bond is sort of, uh, they, they will stick to this active site and their bond is uh, trying to break away. Now a tin is going to come here and grab one hydrogen. Then it goes and grabs the last hydrogen. Then it's going to desorb. Desorb is simply the process of separation. So first you get adsorbed on the surface. You do not penetrate. There is no absorption. It's adsorption. Uh, the reaction is done and then you desorb, you go away. Now a good catalyst uh, should have some affinity, uh, but not a very strong affinity for the reactants to come here and get adsorbed onto it. But it should not be so strong that the product cannot be desorbed. So that's a, how we are going to pick and choose a heterogeneous catalyst. Now one other thing to remember, your transition metals are great, uh, both homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysts. In spoke of heterogeneous, their ability to adsorb and their high ability to adsorb is why they are great catalysts to be chosen.